Hey guys, it's Molly. I am here. I <clears throat> just tapped into the energy. I thought it'd be fun to just see what uh, your message is today. Uh, how I do it, you guys. Hello. My name is Molly. I'm a Claire Audient Intuitive Empath. And so what I do, you guys, is I just sit down and whatever uh, song pops in my head is the song. And then I put it on my phone and I listen to it really loud with headphones. And I shuffle my picture cards and whatever story pops out is the story. So I don't know who this reading is for. I have uh, all the signs here. So let's, let's mix them up here. Uh, let's get going. Let's see. Who is this for? Who is this reading for? Uh, the song was Share. Do you believe in life after love? Uh, I'll put that song down. Who is this song for? I'll put that, uh, that song down in the comments. Aries, this one is for you. All right, Aries. Okay, so Aries, I'm just going to pick up the cards, I'm going to show you what the cards are, and I'm going to read each little message to you. Uh, it might not flow very smoothly, but you'll get the gist. Um, we're going to start, actually I'm going to do those at the end, and then at the end we're going to get one message from your soul tribe around the world, and then we'll pick what your spirit animal is for this weekend. Okay, so here we go Aries. All right, we have a hungry, hungry hippo who is ready to pounce. A hungry, hungry hippo is a person. Uh, hippos look really cute and uh, cool from afar, but really they are very dangerous animals. Uh, the hungry, hungry hippo snaps in uh, and it's not the nicest because the hippo just wants love. They just want those little white love pellets. And uh, they don't really know how else to express their love. So we have the hungry, hungry hippo here, ready to pounce on something. The next message is we have the masculine here. He's looking at toxic behavior. He's looking at uh, just toxic behavior being a danger to him. We have a musician showing up who is a bright and cheerful person. This person may have been a ballerina in the past. Uh, the daffodil sometimes is a tutu for me, and it is right now. So uh, this person may like to dance. They may be a performer. Uh, they like music for sure. There's some, uh, probably some form of musician. All right, somebody is showing up as Poseidon. This person is the king of the ocean. This person has slayed all their demons, okay? They went to hell and stabbed them with the pitchfork, okay? And now they're king of the ocean. This person has mastered their emotions. It is a musician, okay? Okay. This musician is a dragon slayer. Okay, so a dragon slayer for me, um, Aries, is a person who uh, literally has to go to hell. They uh, have faced things that are so awful or terrible, and um, it is so they be can become a dragon slayer. Uh, a dragon slayer is a person who has seen the depths of hell. They know what it looks like. And they can uh, see how the dragons appear here in, in the 3D. And the dragons appear here in the 3D through various forms of uh, low vibing ways. It could be uh, addictions, um, low self-esteem. Things that only dragon slayers can notice in other people because they have been to hell and back. And so they see the dragons flying above all the community. And the community buzzes on by doing their thing. And most people don't even notice the dragons. But this person does. He sees them flying above. And he sees when a dragon has its eye on somebody and it's about to go down for a swoop. And the dragon slayer helps that person, yes. Okay, so the Dragon Slayer uh, 
uh, is probably a very positive person. This, uh, they may be a dancer, uh, a musician. Somehow, whatever they do helps uh, helps people with their emotional vibe. Helps them slay their dragons. All right. But only a true dragon slayer has been to hell. So uh, only the true dragon slayers can see the dragons. That's very important for me to say. Okay. We have an emotional vampire showing up here. This person may be a drinker. They may have a lot of vices. Uh, they may uh, come around for a little bit and then fly away. Uh, this is somebody who is definitely low vibin. The power couple. This is also my card for Twin Flames. The power couple work uh, really great together. The power couple need each other to work at their top performance. Uh, when they get together, uh, they are gigantic. Okay. Okay. Gigantic, a big, big love. Okay. I'm hearing gigantic by the pixies. Okay. Uh, somebody has gone uh, deep into their emotions. Uh, they may be there right now in the middle of the ocean. They're looking at uh, different aircraft carriers. Uh, the different aircraft on the carrier. Okay, so let's, okay. So this person is looking at uh, maybe some, this person is maybe purging. Okay, they're looking at different people in their life that cause them trouble. They look at, they're trying to assess people around them. They're trying to think who serves their highest good emotionally and who is just a bomber, I get. Okay. The judgment card. The saxophone is my card for a judgment. Somebody is making a judgment call. Okay. Okay, whoever this person is, they they may be embarrassed about something. They may be embarrassed. Uh, whenever I drop a card and it lands face down, that means it's embarrassed. And I think it landed on this. So they may be embarrassed about how they treated this person. So we'll get there. Okay, so this person may be realizing something. They may be uh, really, uh, I keep looking at this, power couple. Uh, so they may be realizing something. Somebody's heart chakra is totally activated. It's okay. Somebody is watching somebody. They're watching this person. This person is the wife figure. Uh, they want to say hi to the wife. They want her to wave back at them, and they're trying to strategize how to do that. Okay. Uh, somebody's receiving a big spiritual hug. The wife has received the spiritual hug. Okay. So this wife figure, uh, okay, so this is the masculine and the feminine. Masculine sees the feminine, uh, is trying to strategize. He sees her as uh, home, as a big spiritual hug. Okay. DNA activation, okay. So this person, uh, uh, somebody's showing up, this person can do something that most people can't do. They're very talented in some way. Okay. People are watching, this could be people watching or it could be kids. Um, we do have, okay, somebody wants, yeah, somebody is definitely doing some purging here. So somebody wants to stop uh, a certain kind of behavior. I think they want, like, more spirituality. Uh, they may be watching something that's helping them get more spirituality. Okay, so when this card shows up, uh, and then when, it, when this came up, too, this person is really doing introspection. They're like... Uh, looking into who who comes to their party and who is like like this chick. She's like, hey, what can I do for you? How can I help you? This chick's like, hey, I have a whole bunch of tuna salad. Do you want me to bring it over? You know, these are the people you want around you. These are the people that care. We have these people over here who are like, 
oh, let's stay over here. They're all trying to discuss who brought what, and we didn't bring anything, so let's just keep dancing. And then these people are like, I don't even know who this, whose party this is. Did you have some of the free lobster? So this person is really like obsessing and <laughs> obsessing. I don't know where that came from. Assessing about who is good for them in their life and who just takes advantage of them. And they're seeing the toxicity in that. We have a spiritual leader showing up, uh, or a very spiritual person. This person is um, a very open person. This person will do what's best for everyone, uh, even if it hurts them. Uh, this could be you, Aries. This is my full card. Uh, that is the card of Aries. Okay, so we have somebody showing up feeling solid gold. Uh, they're ready to go super fast into something. They're ready to make some super fast change, some super fast. They want to take a leap into something. Um, their Achilles heel was healed. <laughs> okay, and so now they're, they're going to come in stealth. But somebody does have some anxiety about how to heal something. All right. So there's your message for uh, this weekend, Aries. Uh, let's see what. Let's see what your uh, message is from your soul tribe around the world. So Aries, I'm using the Star MS messages from your soul tribe around the world. Uh, I do have these in my Etsy store. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. All right, Aries, Aries, Aries. What is Aries' message from their soul tribe around the world? Can you just get one, please? There it is. There it is. Oh, look at her cool dress. Your needs and wants are important. Hell yeah, they are, Aries. All right. Now, Aries, I am going to... Let's put this. I feel like, okay... I feel like I have to do this. You need to look at this. This person, again, is telling you, Aries, your needs and wants are important. All right. So, Aries, now I'm going to pop uh, a spirit animal for you for this weekend. This will be for the next couple days. If you see this animal, we're not going to really pay too much attention to what is uh, the meaning of the tarot card. I'm using my animal totem tarot, Aries. Uh, we're going to just, like, pay attention to the animal that's on the card. And that'll be your spirit animal. And if you see that animal anytime uh, from now until when you wake up on Monday morning, uh, that is a special high five for you from the universe. Just to let it know uh, it sees you and uh, the universe thinks you're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Aries. What's Aries' spirit animal for this weekend? All right, here we go, Aries. The woodpecker. <laughs> okay, Aries, if you see a woodpecker, it doesn't have to look like this. Any kind of woodpecker. If you see a woodpecker, that is... <laughs> I just laughed. <laughs> the silly part inside of me said, take away the wood. Okay, Aries, if you see a pecker... <laughs> That'll be your spirit animal. All right, Aries. <laughs> Peace out. If you like how I read, hit like and subscribe, and you can join the Star Gang. We're learning life lessons in a cool, unique way. If you'd uh, want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right there in the description. All right. Have a great weekend, Aries. Love you. Bye.